Hey guys, it's Brian. We're back here in the Frostbite JL and today we're going off-roading again. Today we're going out to Lottie Flats out here in Oregon. I haven't been out here in years and I haven't been out here off-roading in a Jeep before, so it should be pretty fun. We've got quite a few guys coming with us today, a couple of XJs. We've got Kevin and uh, Ken and his TJ, and then we also got a lifted Subaru coming with us today, so that'll be interesting. All right guys, it's a nice day out, but it has been raining a lot, so it should be interesting. All right, here we go guys. Alright guys, we're all done airing down. We disconnected our sway bar links. Now we're going to head off to our first trail. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This is going to be our first trail out at Lottie. This one's called 800. We're going to hit this one up and then we're going to hit up 801 afterwards. This one's pretty cool. Stay tuned. So it's rained quite a bit lately, so there is quite a bit of water on the trail. You'll see all these puddles that we go through. It is pretty cool winding through these trees and going through these mud puddles. It's also fun watching that little Subaru go through them as well. Here we go. So now we're coming up on a little log obstacle here. This one's pretty cool. It's a series of logs that they laid out. It's man-made obstacles, but it's always fun to go through them. We're going to watch Charles and his girlfriend go through these on this first one. So now it's my turn to have a crack at it. This obstacle is pretty easy. You could probably do it in most Jeeps. I do end up having to pop the locker on. These logs were a little slick just because of all the rain and the mud, but it's a fun one. All right, here we go.
All right, after doing a quick photo op there, we're gonna head on down 800 here. We've got a few more rock sections coming up here, so stay tuned. So now we're coming up on our first little rock section here. We're just gonna wait for this other group of JKs and JLs to get out of the way. We'll see these guys later on. They do have some cooler rigs. All right, here we go. Here's that rock section we were talking about. This one's pretty cool. It is an optional one off to the left here on the trail. It's pretty fun watching these guys go through it. Check it out. That's what Kevin was saying, that it gets sketched like on that far side. Nice. Yeah, I know whenever uh, Kevin gets stuck, it's <laughs> Alright, 
think you're good. You're gonna drive on his rope there. Now that we were able to get the XJ out of the way, we're going to go ahead and watch Ken and his TJ go through here. You guys have seen his Jeep on the channel before. I really like this TJ. It's got a long arm kit and it's running the same wheels and tires I have. All right, here we go. Made it look easy. <laughs> it's that short wheelbase. Is it long arm too? Oh, does he? Yeah. Now that everybody's through that one, we're going to cruise on down to the last big obstacle of 800. Here we go. Kevin's going to take the first crack at this one, then it'll be Ken's turn. I'm going to take the bypass and meet him up top. Alright, let's watch him get through here. Alright, so once you crest over the top of this little rock climb, you pop up back at the staging area. We're going to regroup here and head on to 801. Alright, here we go. Charles and his girlfriend were definitely having fun in that XJ. Alright, now we're going to head on down the rest of 801 here. There are quite a few little mud puddles on this one and it is a little tighter in the trees. It's a pretty fun little trail. It's also cool watching that little Subaru roll through here. So those guys did manage to get themselves a little stuck there at the end of 801 there. Once we got them out, we're going to head on over to this little mud hill. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. 
little bit more. Taking the bypass on. <laughs> Woo! Thing needs sliders. That was pretty fun watching those guys try to get up that. All right, now we're gonna head on to our last trail of the day. So that's the same group of Jeeps off there to the left. So this is another optional start for 803. We chose to go the other way on it, so we're going to head on down to the other end of the trail and we'll start from there. If you guys noticed all these trees that were burnt down, this whole area has been closed for quite a while due to a fire a couple years back. Alright, this is going to be the start of 803. This ends up being the hardest trail of the day. We do come up on a pretty difficult rock section here in a minute. I have some trouble with it, and so does that little samurai from earlier. Stay tuned. Okay, now that Kevin's through, it's going to be my turn. This ends up being a fun one. Stay tuned. So this little rock section is definitely a little more challenging. It's really fun, but I do end up damaging my Jeep a little bit. More on that later. Now that we all made it through, now it's going to be this little samurai's turn. It is pretty fun watching this guy get through here. He does have quite small tires. He does run into a little trouble here in a second. I remember that beast was in Jeep West for a hot minute. Oh, man, I know, you were devastated. <laughs> You're on that shackle. In there, that'll help. Huh? I think if you throw a rock in there, that'd help you pop up or. Oh, there you yeah, you're on that front shackle. Yeah, I got it. 
So that samurai ended up getting pretty hung up where I did earlier. They're going to hook up a kinetic rope and try to tug the log that was there out of the way for him so he can get out. We do eventually get him out, but it's definitely a struggle. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Got a, got a bit of an anchor back there. Back up a little bit. Welcome, guys. Howdy, hell. Howdy, hell. Howdy. Right. So we did end up causing quite a traffic jam on that obstacle. This is that Jeep group from earlier waiting on us to get through. Those guys were real helpful getting the samurai out though, so that was nice. Thanks to you guys. Alright, now we're going to head down the trail. Got a couple more uh, interesting obstacles on the way. Here we go. This is a fun little log section here that you can roll through. I do manage to get myself a little stuck on these wet logs, and it does require a little pull out from Kevin. Here we go. Dug it out a little. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was the perfect length for my wheelbase. I had a tree like on the backside of each tire. <laughs> yeah, like all four spinning. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the last big obstacle for us on this trail. This one ends up being a doozy for one of the jeeps in the group. You got a tree on your back, right? So Kevin did manage to get himself pretty stuck on this one with that rock there under the tire. So we did have to go ahead and winch him out on this one. No big deal. We'll get him out of the way and then it's going to be Ken's turn.
it's hard to tell just how big that obstacle is on the camera here. It is quite large. Ken's Jeep is quite capable, and uh, he did have to work a little bit for it, but he did pop right up. All right, here we go. I think he's got just clear. Oh, forgot those have gas tanks back there. <laughs> All right, now it's Charles' turn to take a crack at it. This ends up getting uh, pretty interesting here in a second. Yeah, the front left stop sped it. You broke something. I wonder if that was the right one spinning. Give it just a little bit of gas. That one's spinning. That one's spinning. I don't think the right one's spinning. Yeah. Yeah, it's been on the left, not on the right. Okay. There's some oh, wow. there. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was So he did end up breaking that front right axle shaft there. We were able to go ahead and limp him off the trail and get him on the bypass. We were still all laughing and having a good time. I decided to go ahead and take the bypass. I was starting to experience some problems with my Jeep. I think I did smash that rear drive shaft pretty good on that last little section there. All right, let's go ahead and take the bypass and we're gonna head on back to the staging area. Okay, once back at the staging area, we did a quick walk around to assess the damage. There wasn't anything too major, so we were able to go ahead and air up and hit the trail home. It ends up being quite a scenic drive on the way back down. We had a great day. This was definitely a trail system we're going to hit up again. Okay guys, we made it back from our wheeling trip out to La D. We did get some damage. I did go ahead and uh, smash up that rear drive shaft. It does make it uh, have a horrible vibration over 50, so we'll need to replace that soon with the aftermarket one. Charles did break that front axle shaft on the XJ, but we all had a good time. It was a fun trail. I'm gonna go back again and check it out. All right guys, thanks for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Mm -hmm.